after doing my research, I determined that I wanted a, a competent legal staff and immigration experts to help me get through all the processes. Um, and I chose EcuAssist, uh, led by Marcos, who's a, a fully licensed and well-respected lawyer in the country. If you want to make sure you're getting the professional team at a reasonable cost, they're the right folks. And they've been nothing short of spectacular. Not only a visa, which of course you have to start your process within a, a few months of, of arriving in Ecuador, uh, getting a driver's license in a foreign country. Uh, so every one of those things has been something that I required or requested assistance with, but also for help with opening bank accounts, understanding the bank documents that I'm signing, helping me through uh, rough spots and smooth spots with uh, all kinds of institutions. And the team at EcuAssist has been right on the ball on every one of them. I, I couldn't recommend them more highly. The people in Ecuador I have found to be honest, happy, happy to see you, uh, welcoming to foreigners and visitors of all time. I would tell you, as I would anywhere, that you're going to need a place to live. Don't buy a house. Spend at least a year living in certain areas, maybe other areas, of the country. Just like in the United States, you can live in New York City or you can live in Kansas. Or you can live in Texas or California. They're all very different. And while Ecuador is much smaller, there are very different subcultures in all of those areas and very different weather patterns, if that's important to you. I know it was to me. I never want to see another flake of snow in my life.